Hi, I'm Kurt Johnson, and welcome to American Power Yoga. Now, studies show that it's actually more healthy to do yoga than watch, so please join us now. We have a great group in the studio. We'll start standing, but the most important person of the audience is you. And again, let's, let's get it going. So stand up, join us. We'll bring the feet wide on the outsides of the mat. Bend the knees deep, back flat, face soft. On the inhale, we'll float the hands up. On the exhale, extend them to the front of the room. So it's that simple wheel breath, reflecting life. Each inhale, breath, energy, life flows in. And on the exhale, it flows through. Can't own it, can't even save it up for that long. It comes and it goes. And at the root of this practice is simply that full focus, bringing your awareness to each and every moment, appreciating them as they go by. Good long exhale out. We're going to get warm here today. So next inhale, float the hands in and up. But on the exhale, I want you to go strong and blow it like you're trying to blow up a balloon, pressing belly button to spine. So you can round the back and squeeze all the CO2 out. On the inhale, drop the hips. We'll come lower, release the tension. Long exhale, press strong. <sighs> inhale, lower, slower. Exhale, stronger, longer. Nice inhale, drop the hips. We'll stay soft. On the exhale, just extend the arms out. End of the breath, wrists grow loose, fingers drop down, we'll brush it out. It's called brush hands. Inhale, straighten the legs, wrists reach high. On the exhale, bend the knees, back flat, brush low. Inhale, we'll press down, reach wrists higher. On the exhale, taking it even lower. Next inhale, we'll float up. At the top, we'll rotate to the right. Be sure to flex that right foot. On the exhale, that way you feel it, up and down that right leg. Inhale, float up. Let's come over with it. Flex left foot. Exhale, brush left side of the room. Inhale, gently rise. On the exhale, we'll draw the hands down to prayer. So on the inhale, we'll lift the chest. On the exhale, slowly bend the knees and draw the elbows in the inside of the knees, pressing the palms firmly here. Just getting warmed up. I want to set the intention. So each inhale, you can press the sit bones down to lift the chest up. On the exhale, you can dive down a little deeper. I'll tell you what, just for a moment, gaze point to the fingertips. Now here's the deal. The breath reflects your state of mind. The goal of this practice is to maintain a peace through your life. So you have to be able to hold it through this class. The breath is a barometer. So anytime you lose this fluid breath, lose this peace, it's your cue to back off. Here's the deal. There's no power in the poses. They'll get you long and strong, but that's a side effect. What this does is remind you of the power you brought here today. You have this peace. It is portable. I want you to hold on to it. At the same time, we're on this planet and in this class to explore. So again, we'll test drive reality together. With that little resolution, that bit of clarity, on the inhale, simply straighten the legs, fingertips extend high. On the exhale, reach to the sides of the room and allow the hands to drift to thighs. This will leave that heart nice and open. From here, simply bring the feet together. Strong legs, single breath. Inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, swan dive forward, chest leading the way. Inhale, crown the head to the front of the room. So we'll get nice and long here. On the exhale, plant the hands, walk, jump, or slowly float the feet back. We'll hit that first plank pose of the class. Now, right away, if you can't smile or breathe fluidly, I want you to lower the knees. You'll get stronger quicker by customizing. Now, from here, I want you to press the mat away. So we're looking to create space. So press the mat away to fill the back in. But get away from me, mat, even more. There you go. And if you want to get real warm, take fingertips anytime there's weight on the hands. Next inhale, we'll drift top of the toes. On the exhale, come down very slow, elbows gently shaving ribs. Inhale, draw this chest forward. We're looking down to press through strong shoulders here. On the exhale, tuck the toes. With or without push-up, hips to the sky. Beautiful. First time here. So you can bend the knees a little bit, though. That's okay. The head is hanging loose, so it's easy to look back at the feet. You'll notice their hips width apart. As you start to walk it out, bend one knee, press opposite heel, and then simply rotate. Now, I love this to start this way because you can feel the body get longer right now. You're already invoking change. It's your presence that shapes reality. So we just have to show up. Think about it. Where else would we be if we aren't here and now? Next inhale, easily crouch. On the exhale, walk, jump, or float. Inhale, getting longer. On the exhale, fold, lowest point yet. Inhale, reach out, reach up, strong legs. You can begin to lean back a little bit. Exhale, swan dive. 
Inhale, crown that to the front of the room. On the exhale, we'll plant the hands, walk, jump, or perhaps slowly float the legs back. Inhale, drift top of the toes, exhale, descending slow. Inhale, press down to lift the heart up. On the exhale, hands alive, tuck and toes, hips to the sky. There you go, already longer. Now I know right now you can't see your screen, so I want you to dial into the voice. Let the head hang loose. Each inhale, we're pressing the tailbone higher, exercising that will and intent. Each exhale, head hangs, releasing the shoulders, allowing the heels to drift to the back. Beautiful. Next inhale, we'll press the tailbone just a bit higher. On the exhale, we'll start off with a deep lunge with the right foot. I'll tell you what, let's keep the hands down and bring the left heel down. So I really want you to get heavy on the outside of the left leg. So the left leg very strong as you're sealing the outside of the left foot. From here, we'll draw the back into play by floating the arms to jet airplane. Now it's simple but powerful. So each inhale, we have a little movement here. We're pressing from that side of the leg, reaching the crown of the head forward. On the exhale, she's pressing away through the floor. Now her shoulder blades are coming together, so that back active. And we're lifting the chest just a little bit off that thigh. Now feel this. Try to float the right heel. Start to bring that calf into play. And we're systematically looking for weakness in order to create strength. This is a little tricky. If this feels comfortable, play with trying to lift the right toes as well. So we're pressing down through the ball of the right foot. Beautiful, even the strongest among us usually have a little challenge here. Last but not least, if you want to draw the back into play, reach the hands forward, the biceps near the ears. Very tough. Two breaths here, can you use each one? Can you move with each one? Everything alive on this planet expresses that life in action, so bring life to this pose. Beautiful, we'll draw the hands down to prayer. On the inhale, press down to lift the body up. On the exhale, we'll flow down all the way down, pick up the right foot, draw it straight back. So it's our first single leg plank pose, first opportunity to drop the left knee to modify. On the inhale, drift, exhale, coming down slow. Inhale, chest forward, hips remain level. On the exhale, tuck left toes, hips to right leg skyward. Awesome. Life full of surprises. I'm a surprise in this class right now. If this is challenging, use it. This is great. Weight training, nothing more than space, gravity, desire. If this is easy, I can often help. If this is easy, I want you to flex the right heel to the right side of the room, making a 90 degree turn at the hips. We're gonna plant our right foot on the right wall. Very tough. There's even a little bit more challenge here. Again, head hanging loose, stay with me. If you feel comfortable, float your left hand, palm down, left side of the room. Look at that, I got adventurous here. Two breaths here. When will we touch this part of the body? The systematic nature of this practice exposes the weakness and gets you very strong. You're only as strong as your weakest link. And look at these. Awesome. Hand to the floor. Inhale. Heel comes up. On the exhale, let's lunge it through. We'll stand the ball of the left foot this time. Inhale. Reach out. Reach up. On the exhale, let's bend the elbows 90 degrees. Now from here, we're going to wrap the left arm above right, wrapping once, maybe twice. On the inhale, lift the elbows to the sky. On the exhale, shift the weight forward, and we're going to fly. Just take off. I don't know any balance poses. I only know imbalance poses. Because it's easy to be calm when our world is stable, so we create instability. Now, any single leg stuff, we want to press real heavy through that back heel. So you're flexing through your left heel. And check this out. As you point the little left toe down, it's going to level off the hips, and you'll feel a connection back of the right leg. Very tricky. And we want to practice being bold and getting uncomfortable. So if you're comfortable here at home, I want you to drop the shoulders an inch and float the left heel up an inch. Less about physical flexibility, it's more about mental flexibility. Can you move into the unknown? Outstanding. Two breaths, hang in there. I'll level it off just a little bit. Awesome. Check this out. Next inhale, press down with the right foot as you draw that left knee high. On the exhale, left heel to the front of the room. You can bend the left knee, but let's try it. Let's flex that left heel. Look at your left toes. On the inhale, I want you to exercise that will and lift it higher. On the exhale, soften something. There you go. Next inhale, left knee lifts. On the exhale, it drifts to the back of the room. Inhale, seek length. On the exhale, simply re-bend right knee, lower ball of left foot. Inhale, hands touch above. On the exhale, coming down to prayer. Now that right leg is warm, we're going to open it. On the inhale, seek length. Exhale, everything. Let's come deep to the right. Join left elbow on that side of the right knee. Now right away, you can drop the left knee. No big deal. 
Again, no health benefits being stronger than someone else, but you don't have to drop the left knee. Each inhale, seek length on the exhale. I want you to get real heavy with that right hand. So you're twisting the chest to the right side of the room. So it basically goes a little bit out and then pressing to heart center. Once you catch that heart center, then you can go deeper. You can play with it. Explore. Left hand on the outside of the right knee, foot right hand in the sky. So check it out. Kristen's modifying, but also intensifying. What do you need to do? The beautiful part of yoga is you get to customize each class to your body. Your body today is going to be different than tomorrow. But here's the, the deal, is by showing up, you're shaping reality. Tomorrow you'll be different because of what you're doing here and now. Let's keep moving. We'll bring the hands back to prayer. Next inhale, float this body up. On the exhale, we'll float it all the way down. Outstanding. Right foot up, back down. We don't slide. Inhale, drift. Exhale, descend. Inhale, press down to lift this chest. On the exhale, tuck and toes, hips skyward. Beautiful. Inhale, crouch. Exhale, walk, jump, or float. Inhale, long. Exhale, fold low. Next inhale, we'll bend both knees. Sit back into a chair. Draw the hands high. On the exhale, we'll hunker down to prayer for a moment. Now, we hit this a lot. We want the back flat. Super flex folks might have a little sway back, so you can tuck the tailbone forward a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Now, feel this. If you float the toes, you'll feel the weight shift into the hips a little bit. Those legs will get stronger. Now, we're to change it up today. Challenging? That's all I'm looking for. I'm just looking for your best. If you feel comfortable here or you're a rock star like Kristen, you can keep the knees touching and straighten the left leg. So she's going to place her left heel gently in front of her. Maybe. A little shaky, yeah. What's even more fun is lift that left heel. Look at that, about an inch off the ground. Two breaths here. Pressure's on, huh? Easy. Let's reach up. Two breaths. Hips level. You got this. No big deal. You got this. No big deal. Beautiful. Hands back to prayer. Left joints right. Inhale, prep for the twist. Exhale, everything. We're wringing this body out. Come to the right. Left elbow on that side of the right knee. Second deep twist here. First, I want you to look down at the knees. Make sure the knees are bent evenly. And then they work for you. And then we're pressing down with the right hand, wringing the body out. And maybe we open it up. You're warmer, looser already. There you go, brother. We'll soften the shoulder a little bit. Smiles always help. Hands find prayer. Inhale, hands high, but this time the hips stay low. On the exhale, let's gather up the hands behind the back. Interlace them. I want to open this heart. On the inhale, drop the knuckles, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward, chest to thigh. An early, deep forward fold. So the legs working straight and strong. A lot of sensation, but the head's still hanging loose. Little things, palms pressed. And here you can start to walk it out. It's a little different variation. As you bend one knee, press opposite hip out, and then simply rotate. Now this creates a lot of sensation. Often I see heads coming up, but stay loose. I know you can't see the screen, but you can relax. And again, just dial into my voice. You can feel it. Next inhale, bend both knees, hands high, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long. Exhale, let's walk, jump or slowly float back. Inhale, drift top of the toes. Exhale, coming down, elbows brushing ribs. Inhale, press down to lift up. On the exhale, hands a lot, tucking toes, hips to the sky. Awesome. We'll catch that other side. Next inhale, higher go the hips. On the exhale, deep lunge, left foot. Now you guessed it, we'll keep the hands down. We'll bring the outside of the right foot to the mat. It's probably one of the trickier things is to really try to seal the outside of the foot to the floor. So this right leg now very strong. From here, drawing the shoulder blades together, we'll extend the arm sides of the room. It draws the back into play. A couple subtleties here. Here you can draw that left hip forward, right hip back, just a little bit. This will square you up. And again, what's your best on this side? Imagine if we brought that best to everything we do. Fully aware, fully present. To feel more, you can float the left heel. You can play with that little duality, lifting the heel and lifting the toes. I'll tell you what, three breaths here. You breathing fluidly? Yeah, let's reach the hands to the front of the room. You want to get hot? Press the palms above the head. Two breaths. And again, nothing is static, so we're moving. Relax the shoulders. There you go. Check this out. There you go. Awesome. Hands coming back down to the prayer. Next inhale, press down. Float the whole body up. 
And the exhale will flow down. You got it, left foot up, straight back. You can modify with that right knee, inhale, top of the toes, exhale, coming down slow. Inhale, swim it forward, keep the hips level. On the exhale, tuck right, to or right toes, hips and left leg to the sky. There you go, different side to side. Here we wanna stay heavy through the fingers. Mostly we wanna keep that breath fluid. As you flex through the left heel and point that little left toe down, it'll level off the hips and again, you'll feel that connection back of the right leg. Maybe this is it. Maybe we explore the other side as we flex left heel, left side of the room. Super tough, I know. Weight training, nothing more than space, gravity, desire. That's all we need. You ready? Let's float the right hand. We'll counterbalance right side of the room. Head hangs loose. Upside down on one leg, one arm, and still calm. It's not some hippie new age theory. This is reality. I personally see it hundreds of times a day. People in challenging situations and still calm. Feel that? Outstanding. Hand finds the floor. Inhale, heel comes up. On the exhale, let's lunge it through. This time we'll stand the ball of the right foot. Inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, we bend the elbows 90 degrees. And yeah, we'll balance it out. So right above left once, twice. Inhale, elbows come up. It feels pretty good to open up. On the exhale, shift the weight forward and take off. See, life comes at you with no labels. You lose the labels, there's less to fear. None of this is good or bad, it just is. So whether you're rock solid or hopping around wildly, it makes no difference. Left leg here strong, that left quad lifted up. Again, flex heavy through that right heel and point the little right toe down. And again, to get uncomfortable, maybe the head and shoulders coming down an inch with the right heel lifting. Two slow breaths here. Outstanding. That shakiness is the body requesting strength. You'll be stronger tomorrow, man. It happens quick. Next inhale, press down with the left foot as you draw the right knee high into the chest. And on the exhale, we'll extend right heel to the front of the room. To distract you, we'll look at our right toes. On the inhale, I want you to wheel the right leg up a little higher. On the exhale, soften something. Two breaths. You can bend the knee to modify. No big deal. You see our knees slowly starting to bend. Inhale, right knee comes high. On the exhale, comes to the back of the room. On the inhale, we seek length. On the exhale, slowly rebend left knee, lower ball of right foot now. Inhale, hands sweep above. On the exhale, descending to prayer. Inhale, prep. Exhale, coming deep to the left, right above that side, left knee. Each inhale, heavy through the right heel, crown that to the front of the room. On the exhale, press down, left hand, twist, chest, left side of the room. Once again, try to get those hands and heart center. Easy, open. Right hand outside, left knee, foot, left hand of the sky. Beautiful. Again, you can find that duality modified with the knee down, but opened up to extend the twist. What do you need to do to feel something? When we feel, we don't think. We don't think most issues go away. Most problems do. Because they don't exist here in reality. It's one of the powerful side effects of this practice. Hands drift back down to prayer. Inhale, float up. On the exhale, float down. Left joins right. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Next inhale, press down, lift up strong. On the exhale, hands alive, hips to the sky. <sighs> inhale, here we crouch. Exhale, walk, jump, or float. Inhale, seek length. Exhale, lowest point yet. Next inhale, bend both knees, sit back into a chair, hands extend up. On the exhale, coming down to prayer. Perfect. So again, the basics, feet and knees pressed together, float the toes, feel the weight shift. And then we'll keep the knees touching, this time straightening the right leg, placing the right heel gently in front of you. Just placing it in front of you will make things a little more shaky. To add to it, we can float the right heel half inch off the mat. All you have to do is take the weight off of it. Good, lift the chest. They, awesome, brother. Well done. Then you can reach. Can you reach up yet relax the hands down? Understanding health is about balance. Too much energy, just as problematic as too little. So we'll soften the shoulders. Little fingers toward one another. We'll smile. It helps. It always does. And then it's time to move on. So the hands drift to prayer. Right joins left. Inhale, prep for the twist. Exhale, absolutely everything before you rotate to the left. Right up on that side, left knee. 
Again, we seek balance. So look down at the knees, have them bent evenly. <clears throat> Each inhale, actively pressing the sit bones behind you as the chest drifts to the front of the room. On the exhale, you got leverage, man. We twist this thing up. Once those hands are at heart center, we open up. Now with the three exhales here, each exhale, I want to see if you can lower the hips a bit. We have to lead this body. We don't get in the car in the morning, ask if it wants to drive to work. We just get in and drive it. You have to take control of this body as well. And very quickly, it will feel like doing whatever you're doing. We act how we want to feel, not the other way around. Hands finding prayer. Inhale, hands high, but hips low. On the exhale, we'll just fold it up here. Inhale, seek length. Exhale, coming down low. Next inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, we'll draw the hands down in front of the body, palms lead the way. We'll play with a little Tai Chi move. It's taken from a Reiki symbol. It's actually, my instructor used this to cleanse water. And if it can cleanse water out in the field, it can certainly cleanse this body. So check it out. Brand new, you can watch the first round. We'll do it twice. So we'll bring the feet together. On the inhale, Float the arms and the right leg. We're going to come all the way around. On the exhale, we're going to cross the arms and extend the leg infinitely to the right side of the room. Well done. Next inhale, come back left and up. On the exhale, we circle down. Inhale, float left leg up. Again, all the way across. Crossing it like a T. A lot of strength here. And then coming back right. Big inhale. Long exhale. Let's hit it again. Inhale, right leg floats, arms spin around, and the exhale extending right. Inhale brings us back left and up. Exhale down. Last time, inhale, left knee lifts. On the exhale, extend infinitely left side of the room. Outstanding. Inhale back up. We'll meet high, and on the exhale, hands come down low. Nice job, you guys. Inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, we'll fold forward. Inhale, crown that to the front of the room. On the exhale, let's walk up or float back. Let's try to soften the landing. Nice. Inhale, top of the toes. On the exhale, down we go. Inhale, press down to lift up. Exhale, tuck and toes, hips to the sky. There you go. We walk it out, feel the difference. Yoga, quantum mechanics, our presence shapes reality. It just changes things. Next inhale, tailbone comes a little higher. And exhale, I want to lunge that right foot deep. Once again, the left heel drops. Seal that left foot. Inhale, extend out, extend up. On the exhale here, right hand forward, left hand back as we hit warrior two for the first time today. Again, we're here to explore. So check the basics. Right heel, left arch, right knee, right foot. Chris is already in a pretty deep rock star type pose. That's cool. Want to look for the hips being leveled off. Perfect. I keep an ongoing challenge at my studio. If you can slide your heels together in Warrior Two, I'll buy you a year's worth of classes. So try it. And besides getting the legs really strong and no slipping, it starts to draw the energy straight up the center of the body. It'll start to lift you. Speaking of lifts, I want you to keep that right knee bent deep. Flip the right palm to the sky and the inhale, brush the ceiling. On the exhale, touch the back wall. Now you got two options here. You can have left hand drifting on left leg or you can simply reach back with both arms. I was hoping she'd go for that one. Now this is the tricky part. Each inhale, you're pressing down to lift the carriage up. On the exhale, you're opening. Beautiful. There's a tendency to straighten the right knee. It gives me a certain purpose in life to remind you to keep it bent. So go ahead and bend it just a little deeper. I'll tell you what, two breaths here. We'll move on. Drop it back here. Outstanding. I'll try not to knock you over. There you go. Beautiful. Next inhale, core will float you back up. On the exhale, extend the arms. From here, we'll straighten the right leg, step into the left foot. Inhale, extending right hand forward. Exhale, right hand, right leg, left hand skyward. So in this triangle pose, the legs are straight and strong, the body flat, and the right hand anywhere on the right leg. You can start with the thigh, let it drift down easily. The body will tell you when it's time to stop. We're looking for sensation, that's it. Looking to feel something. Now to help feel something on this side, let's reach the left hand to the front of the room. So we're reaching, yet relaxing, finding that duality. You want to play with a little core strength, try to bring the right hand to the front of the room. So each inhale, we're pressing from the outside of the left foot, reaching the fingers forward, and exhale, we're slowly starting to twist the chest to the sky. Look at this incredible core strength. 
The digestive system, respiratory system, all rely on core strength. The body designed to be strong. It's the only way it works. Beautiful. Next inhale, extend the arms up and down. On the exhale, let's rotate now. So we're going to draw nose over right toes. A couple little adjustments as you draw the right hip back, left hip forward. We can square it up. There you go. We'll try to revolve this triangle. Check this out. On the inhale, seek length. On the exhale, we'll take the left hand, start at the top of the right thigh, and let it descend as it wishes. Each inhale, very tricky, heavy through the back heel. Crown that to the front of the room. On the exhale, right hand skyward. Outstanding. Big tendency to drop the left hip. Let me try to keep those hips leveled off. Good, I was hoping I could work with someone here. Feel that? See, and it makes her smile as well. Soften the shoulder. You got this, like two breaths, no big deal. Beautiful, inhale, rotate, airplane. And they still just drape over the leg, hang loose for a moment. I'll tell you what, let's do a little experiment while we're hanging out. Eyes closed. On the inhale, draw that awareness up and down that right leg. I want you to look for any tightness. On the exhale, don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. On the exhale, can you find the very end of the breath and find just a little bit of space? Change constant, nothing static. Yeah. Inhale, seek length with a slight bend of that right knee. On the exhale, left foot joints, right. Inhale, longer now. Exhale, lowest ever. Inhale, reach out, reach up. You can lean back with strong legs on the exhale, fold. Inhale, crown the head to the front of the room. On the exhale, plant the hands, walk, jump, or float. Inhale, drift. Exhale, descend. Inhale, lifting, heart wide open. On the exhale, hands alive, tuck and toes, hips to the sky. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, next inhale, press the tailbone higher. On the exhale, let's lower that left knee. So check it out. We're gonna line up the left hand, left knee, right foot all in a line, and extend the right hand to the sky. Hit what's often called a side plank. So we wanna make sure that right hand directly over that right shoulder, so you might move forward just a little bit. You can look down, move nose over knuckles, beautiful. Challenging, awesome, man, look at this, a lot going on. Easy, yes, I can help. From here, you can straighten the left leg. I'll tell you, we'll, we'll work on a little movement here. So we'll bring the right foot in front of left, so we'll widen your stance. So each inhale, she's getting longer, and exhale, she's starting to lift the hips so she gets this beautiful inner crescent shape. Now, challenging, again, cool, I'm looking for your limits. The breath will tell you when you need to go deeper or not. If you want to add some movement on the inhale, right hand reaches up. On the exhale, she's going to bring her right hand underneath her left shoulder and reach the left side of the room. So on the inhale, she'll float up. On, on the exhale, she'll thread through. Inhale, a little higher. On the exhale, just a little deeper. Last time, inhale, lift. On the exhale, let's bring the right hand down where it typically goes. Pick up the left knee if it's down. Inhale, drift. Exhale, come down slow. Inhale, chest forward, heart open. Exhale, tuck and toe, sift to the sky. Outstanding. Now, I, I might have, should have mentioned this, but my goal, everyone takes a break. Yoga, not what you do, but how you do it. It's the quality of movement and attention, focus. Next inhale, pressing tailbone a little higher. On the exhale, deep lunge, left foot this time. Again, we'll spin the right heel down. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, you guessed it, left hand forward, right hand back as we line it up. Same principles apply, but it's gonna be different side to side, different day to day. So heel, arch, knee, foot. And again, you set the intensity of each class, but we wanna explore here with that right foot. Can you walk it back and breathe through it? You don't know unless you try. We level off the hips perfectly. And then we start to slide the heels toward one another. Engaging left hamstring and right thigh, getting that solid foundation. Tell you what, I see some shoulders high. So on the inhale, pick the shoulders up near the ears. On the exhale, let's drop them. How low can they go? There you go, much better. Flip the left palm to the sky. On the inhale, it brushes the seal. On the exhale, it's coming all the way back. So we'll bend that left knee just a little deeper to fight that counter of straightening it. Right hand down, right leg, or maybe both hands reaching back. Again, in this one in particular, it's a little tendency to pop that back hip up. Awesome. Pressing down, but lifting up. Got beautiful movement, reaching up, yet relaxing down. It's all contrast, it's all duality, it's all balance.
Next inhale, we drift back up. On the exhale, extend the arms. You guessed it, we'll straighten the left leg. Step in a bit with the right foot. Inhale, left hand forward. Exhale, left hand, left leg, right hand skyward. So again, let's remain active here. I wanna maintain this heat so we can open this. Each inhale, heavy from the outside of the right foot as we get a little longer. On the exhale, left hand, anywhere it wants to go. Start by looking down, easy look up. Wanna get longer, right hand forward, right shoulder to the sky. Wanna get stronger, left hand forward, right shoulder to the sky. Wanna get longer and stronger, both hands forward, shoulders to the sky. And again, I would argue if you can smile here, you can smile anywhere on the planet. The shakiness is the body requesting strength. We gotta find that weakness to create strength. That's the only way to do it. Ah, oh, outstanding. Inhale, arms extend up and down. On the exhale, let's rotate it. You got it, nose over left toes. Again, we wanna square up the hips as we draw that left hip back, right hip forward. On the inhale, seek length. On the exhale, prep for it, then draw the right hand down the top of the left thigh. And let it descend as far as it will naturally. So again, legs straight and strong. Each inhale, heavy from the outside of the right heel, crown the head to the front of the room. On the exhale, left hand skyward. Good, soften the shoulder. Yeah, it's mainly about the back here. The shoulder's gonna come. Again, if we force the body, it contracts. Same thing with life. But the good news, we can attract everything we want. Not just the strength and the length, but you can attract the people, the situations. How kind do you want to be? How happy do you want to be? How forgiving? How compassionate? The fluidity of reality lets us shape reality as we go, define ourselves in every action. It's freedom because the past isn't here. Next inhale, rotate jet airplane. On the exhale, man, just relax, hang loose, drape over that left leg. And again, conduct your own exper experiment. Each inhale, that breath drifting up and down that left hamstring, looking for tightness. And the exhales, man, extend them like vacations. Find, feel the very end of the breath. Inhale, seek length, slight bend left knee. On the exhale, right foot joins left. Inhale, getting longer. Exhale, taking it lower. Coming up nice and slow. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Strong legs as you lean back. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, crown the head forward. On the exhale, plant the hands, walk, jump, or float. The slower you go, the stronger you'll be. Inhale, drifting. Exhale, come down half speed. Inhale, press up slow, heavy on the fingers, heart wide open. On the exhale, tuck the toes. With or without push up, hips to the sky. There you go. And we'll even it out. Next inhale, we'll press the tailbone higher. On the exhale, simply lower that right knee. So again, we want to line up the right hand, the right knee, and the left foot in a line, extending the left hand skyward. First, let's get the basics. Look down at the right hand. Move nose over right knuckles. This will square you up. You'll feel stronger, actually. Then, what do you need to do? This is it. Perfect. If you need a little bit more, we'll straighten that left leg. If you want to get dynamic with it, we'll bring one foot in front of the other. Inhale, reaching up. On the exhale, threading left arm underneath right. On the inhale, let's float up a little bit higher. On the exhale, we'll take it a little deeper. Inhale, touch the ceiling. Exhale, last time lunging it underneath. Inhale, float up. Hey, you made it. Exhale, left hand joins right. Let's pick up that knee, inhale, drift. Exhale, come down slow. Inhale, press down, lift the heart up. On the exhale, tuck the toes. With without push up, hips to the sky. Outstanding. Last time here, let's walk it out a little bit. Just compare where you were when you started this class to where you are now. Every day, weaker, stronger, tighter, longer. You chose the direction of change. Well done. Next inhale, tailbone lifts up. On the exhale, we bring the knees down. Cross your ankles. You got two options. You can either sit through or float through. If you sit through, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to float, cross your ankles, take the hands down. On the inhale, sit up tall. You can get a little momentum. On the exhale, head and shoulders come down as the hips and legs come up. Come forward, come through, and down. See, we all made it. Many paths to the same place. Let's bring the feet back, hips to the part, hands underneath the shoulders, fingers to the front of the room. On the inhale, press down to lift. On the exhale, bend the knees, draw the shoulder blades together, and lift the hips high. This was a tough one. 
But again, we're looking to balance out this body. So we're pressing down evenly through the four points of contact. I'll tell you what, now I want you to get real heavy in the left foot. So heavy that if someone were to suggest to float the right leg, the hips would stay where they are. Oh, I can't wait either. Let's test that theory. Next inhale, press down with the left foot, draw the right heel to the ceiling. On the exhale, bring right ankle on top of left knee. Inhale, one more time, press down to lift the hips up higher. On the exhale, lower the hips straight down and draw the chin over the right shin. Good, we got this heat. Now I want to open it up. Hips, we hold on to the past in the hips, so we want to start to unpack it. So you can walk the left heel to left hip. Each inhale, press down to sit up tall. And next, inhale, draw chin over shin. Three breaths here. Again, you close your eyes, just tune into the voice. Each inhale, focus that breath like water against rock. Each exhale, ride this breath till this body's soft. Latsu and his sutras challenges us. Can you cleanse this mind? Do you see beauty in every direction? We lose the labels that don't serve. Life happens pretty objectively. We get to choose the labels. In yoga, we find all kinds of challenges that end up to be rewarding. I would argue it's the same thing outside a studio. Every challenge in our life meant to serve us. All of it happening for a reason. Well done. From here, we'll walk that left foot out just a bit. Take back the hands. On the inhale, float the hips. On the exhale, right heel to the front of the room. Now it gets a little tricky. On the inhale, right heel high. On the exhale, slowly straighten the left leg. Now we're gonna pick up the left foot. Now we're gonna bring the right heel down, or you can change the order. Inhale, bend the right knee, left heel high. Exhale, ankle to knee. Inhale, press down to lift up. On the exhale, lower slow. You guessed it, chin over left shin. Different side to side, different day to day. Ah, oh, someone's working up a sweat. Close your eyes, man, dial in. You wanna use the heat. Now, sometimes the emotions that cause the scars will well up. That's okay. Emotions are meant to be expressed. We want to let them go. So each inhale, the breath wraps up that tightness in that hip. And each exhale, we just let it flow. There's a freedom to it. Three breaths here. Let's make them count. In the end, we have no guarantees of the quantity of breath in this life. But in the end, we get to control the quality of every single breath, every single moment. Again, with that currency that we expend, we can only pay attention in class, in relationships, in jobs. That's that exchange. That's what we have to give is our attention. Cool, before we get too cooled off, let's take back those hands. Maybe the right foot steps out just a bit. On the inhale, float the hips. On the exhale, left heel to the front of the room. On the inhale, bring it high. On the exhale, bring it straight down. Inhale, press down to lift up. On the exhale, simply lower the hips exactly where they are. Feet cruise together as we reach the hands to the front of the room. On the inhale, sit up tall. On the exhale, let's lower slow, one vertebrae at a time. I like this one because we want to look for the part we want to skip over. That's where we need to spend time. So take your time as you descend. I'll tell you, we'll have the head come, or shoulders come down, head comes down. Let's extend the arms to the back of the room this time. We're going to allow the thumbs to touch, because then we're going to reverse this. On the inhale, float the hands to the ceiling. On the exhale, pick the back up one vertebrae at a time, just in case you missed the part. There you go. Well done. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, last descent. Let's take it down slow. Beautiful. Just feel it. This time when your shoulders touch, just draw the knees in your chest a little bit. Let that back release. Outstanding. From here, we'll bring the heels to the sky. So we're working on our last little inversion. A lot of people make a big deal about inversion. Down dog, you've been in it a lot. You've been upside down a good chunk of the class. This one's a great one as well. If you want to go a little deeper into what's called a shoulder stand, you can do it safely by keeping the eyes skyward, lift the hips, stack them above the shoulders, and draw the hands to the small of the back. So the, one of the few names that I use in class, because I want to remind people it's a shoulder stand, not a neck stand or a spine stand. So we're pressing down with the shoulders to create a little bit of space. Now, you practitioners who are getting pretty straight up and down, you can intensify this by reaching the arms to the sky. Let's see if we have any bold people in class here today. You're looking pretty bold. 
three breaths, man. All I ask for is your best. Easy. World upside down, it doesn't change a thing. The truth is, no one, nothing can take your peace away. The real power is taking it with you. Outstanding. Let's draw the hands to the small of the back. Allow the legs to drift toward the back of the room. We're going to catch that final fold. Catch any leftover tension up and down what was, that tightness of the back of the body. Let's leave it where it belongs, the past. If your legs are in the air, keep the hands in the back to control your weight distribution. If you're feeling comfortable here and your toes are touching, you can interlace the fingers straight in the elbows. Start to press the heels behind you. I'll tell you what, two slow breaths. Each inhale up and down. Look for that tightness. On the exhale, we can start to release it. It's nice because we hold on to tightness that takes our energy away. It wastes it on what was and it takes it away from what will be. So in the end, we want to run efficient. Use energy when we need it. Beautiful. Let's start that descent. So we're going to start to peel the body down now slowly. We're going to keep the legs as straight and as close to the chest as possible. When the hips touch, draw your right knee high into your chest. Let your left leg continue its journey to the front of the room and down. So you have the right knee cradled up high, left leg nice and loose. Inhale, bring it up. On the exhale, allow the left hand to draw right knee left side of the room and spin the right hand, right ear, right shoulder down. So we want to keep the right shoulder down heavy. It doesn't matter if the left knee touches or not. On the inhale, it's like a wave of awareness, looking up and down the body for leftover tension. On the exhale, it's like that wave breaking on the beach. Let this tension go. From here, we roll the hips back down. On the inhale, reset knee by drawing it back into the chest. On the exhale, you guessed it, extend and rotate. Right leg goes heavy, left knee comes high. Inhale, bring it to you. On the exhale, we draw it across, final twist. Heavy as the left shoulder, soft as the face. Breaths come in and out. The breath reminds us how reality works. All things come and go. We'll back off just a little bit so we get that shoulder soft. Cool? Nice. Last little cleansing breath here. Big inhale. Scan for leftover tension. Exhale. Let it go as you roll the hips back down. Reset. Inhale, knee to you. On the exhale, extend the legs, feet drop open. For some, it feels more comfortable to bring the soles of the feet together, the knees extend out and down. But what I, what I want you to do is find stillness. So on the inhale, just scan the body for movement. On the exhale, still it. I want to show that we aren't addicted to movement. This next bit, a little trickier. I want to show that we're not addicted to thought. So on the inhale, simply capture that random thought. You can own it for a moment. Some people find it helpful to label it generically thinking. And on the exhale, let it drift out of sight, out of mind. It's like sitting by a river on the inhale. You can watch the thoughts as they float in. But on the exhale, let them drift out. Now with a little practice, you'll start to find space between thoughts. You'll find a peace, a quiet. And you'll start to understand that you're not the body. You're the thing that stilled it. You're not the thoughts. You're the thing that controls it. In the end, you are this peace, this power, this passion, this purpose, this intent, this will, this spirit, this soul. It goes by so many names, but it's more powerful than body and mind combined. So we'll leave you here. Take as much time as you need. This is the most powerful pose I know, so please do your best. Once again, I thank you for joining us today, and once again, I look forward to seeing you in a class very soon.